this video is for all of the pocket watchers out there. For all of the people who are concerned about me getting my money back that I put in this video. The title of this video is Risk and Reward. The goal is not to get my money back. The goal is to make more money. I was looking at some of the comments in the peanut gallery. There's so many people who are, it's going to take you forever to get your money back. It's going to take you forever. Ha, 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 ha. Really? Let's go ahead and do phase one of this video. How did I get to 260000 I started a business that pays for my house, that pays my health insurance, that pays for utilities, and gives me money to eat out at Hal's, spend $130 a person, the Atlanta Fish Market, and still stack up $260,000 in my personal checking account. I apparently must be doing something right. Apparently. So there's more money in that 260. Uh, I've seen that coming. It's going to take you forever to get your money back. It's going to, you know, if you had Glenn and Cameron, you need to humble yourself and finance cars. Because if you're financing your cars, you would have made more money from the financially in business illiterate. You are a complete dumbass if you feel that if I finance cars, I would be in the territory of profit. Let me explain something to you, dumb clowns. If I had financed these cars, you know when my business would be profitable? Once I paid those cars off in four to five years with traditional auto financing. At that point, my business would have become profitable. You could misuse the funds and not pay off your car and spend it on lifestyle and stuff, but you ain't making no profit. A lot of you, I don't think a lot of you would know what profit was if it came up and slapped you in the face. Profit is the money that's above and beyond expenses and operational costs to run your business. There are many people doing Toro who are talking about, I made 20,000 this month, I made 30,000 this month, I made 40,000 this month, and they got car payments. They got car payments. And because they have car payments, they have full coverage insurance. So one guy I calculated, he has 13, he has almost $2,000 a month in insurance cost alone. Whereas he only has 14 cars. I actually have 21 cars and my insurance cost is 1300 because I only have liability because I'm not driving these cars. They're, they're covered by insurance when they're out on rent. So for the financially illiterate, for the financially dumb, for the business illiterate. Once again, you've been watching all of these folks on YouTube who like one guy, and I actually know who he was talking about. It was like, this guy had two cars. He was already profitable. No, he wasn't. I watched his videos. And once again, he ain't making no more videos because it didn't work out. It got a little bit too hard. And he was doing hire car with two cars. So let's go ahead and talk about the ultimate goal here. So you know where the money came from because I've shown you my pay stubs. This is money that I'm paying myself. And um, the ultimate goal isn't to get my money back. The ultimate goal is to send money out into the world, deploy money so it goes out and it brings back more dollars. Let's say it took me three years to get my money back. And at the three year mark, it became a cash cow because I wasn't putting any more money into it and it started paying me. That's still pretty quick. 14 to 18 months is lightning quick. If you were a business person who had started a business, who had made investments, who was at a certain point in life and understood how business worked because the comments clearly and distinctly illustrate that you don't know how business works. You have no clue to how business works. You have no clue 
to how a properly structured business works. You are seduced, you're dancing between the raindrops, you're bamboozled by the BS. And that's what you think is a real business. Because many of you are conditioned that if a business is hard, it's challenging, it's something I don't wanna deal with. Because businesses should be easy. Businesses should make a profit quickly. And none of you clowns, and I'm speaking to the peanut gallery. You know, there are many of you who are enjoying the content, who are enjoying learning how a real business works. You're enjoying that and you're just like, oh, okay. And you will be better prepared when you go out and you start your business and all this crazy stuff starts happening because you'd be like, my man Glendon told me this was gonna happen. I'm on the right path, my man Glendon. See, I'm not trying to seduce you for the views. I'm not trying to um, paint rosy pictures and have you thinking that you can rub on big booty Betty's butt and smoke weed or whatever you wanna do and work four hours a day and make serious money. See, the goal here isn't to get my money back. That's chump change loser talk. Well, I wanna start a business, I wanna get my money back. I, want, I don't wanna get my money back. I want more than my money back. So, round month 14 or month 18, whichever it, way it pans out, I will start taking money out the business. And within a year, 25 months, I will have my 300,000 back. But more importantly, I would have a business that's doing six figures per month. See, the goal isn't to get my money back. Cause you, you pocket watchers, y'all all up in my pocket. Y'all all up in my pocket. You like, well, it's gonna take you forever to get your money back. Oh, if I had that money, I would have did it this way, or I would have did it that way. Let's ask a fundamental question here. How come you don't have two hundred sixty thousand dollars? Please put that in the comments. Why don't you have two hundred sixty thousand dollars? Why don't you have it? Since you are so smart, you're such a business gangster how come you don't have 260 oh that's right because you broke this is why you're watching all of these side hustle videos and this is why you're watching me and erica and all of these other personalities on social media so you can get a jewel or a gym that doesn't cost you any money because you are broke you are broke and as long as you practice being broke you gonna keep being broke. There's a certain way to escape being broke and many of you are not on that path. Some of you are on that path. I've got people who leave generous super chats who's like, you know, um, Jeremiah left a chat the other day, $50. He was like, you know, you told me something and some well-heeled members of my family did the same thing and that's how they got their money. See, I give you real solutions practical advice that if you choose to act on it, you would make some money. But as long as you keep feeling that you don't have to work that hard, you don't have to make no mistakes, you don't have to risk no money, you're going to continue to be broke. You're going to be a broke bitch. Broke bitch. That's what you're going to be because I, I love the comments like I'm sitting here laughing at myself and this is this person who's laughing in his car which he has to finance because he don't have the money to pay cash for a car who's going to his apartment that he don't want to live in because he don't make enough money to live where he want to live but he's laughing at me someone who lives where he wants to live drives where he wants to drive eats what he wants to eat date who he wants to date it's kind of funny when you look at it from that perspective because if my mistakes, and once again, I'll be 100% transparent. I made mistakes in this business. I bought some wrong vehicles, but I learned important lessons. And if that makes you laugh while you are being broke, while you don't have the life that you want, while you're dating fat chicks, yeah, I said that. Cool, laugh all the way, because I'm gonna be laughing to the bank. I'm gonna be walking into the bank.
because each time I sit down with my banker and open up business checking accounts, we have a conversation and I learn that there ain't a lot of people making the kind of money I'm making. And I know every time I say that people get, they feel is get hurt. They little feel is, there he goes talking about how much money he make. There he goes talking about this. You pay cash for these cars. There he goes. That's my reality. Your reality is broke. That's your reality. Your reality ain't like my reality. My reality is about cash money, flush money. So keep being broke. Keep laughing at my mistakes because each mistake I make gets me closer to making more money. This month, uh, the car business has already made 9,100 bucks and we have seven more days. And I have a feeling the guy who rented the Range Rover for a month is going to do it again. I don't know. I have a feeling. So that's going to put me at $12,000. And that's going to actually put me ahead because that's going to absolve all of the repair costs. That's going to absolve insurance. And that's going to absolve the taxes and dealer fees I paid on these cars. Once that stuff is done, because at some point the cars are going to stop breaking down. There's going to be a period, many, many months, three, four, five, six, seven months where I'm not going to have repairs. I'm not going to have these issues. And the money's just going to stack, stack, stack. And then I'm going to buy more cars and I'm going to grow the business. Because essentially my goal isn't to get my money back. My goal is to create a financial device that makes more money. And I got a question for you guys, since you're so smart. How come you don't have $260,000? How come you don't have a business? How come you don't have the life that you want? Please answer that question in the comments because you guys are so smart. I had someone, and also, I'm gonna start blocking and deleting comments because there's a whole playlist of the car business and there are many of you who are not watching all the videos because you're so, whoo, Glendon made a mistake. I got a comment and you're not watching the videos and you're going to get a virtual bitch slap and blocked because you're not watching all the videos. There are many people that's like, well, you put your cars on the wrong platform. If you were watching those, the Porsche, the BMW, the Range Rovers were on Turo and they just sat. So I put them on Turo, but see, you ain't watching because you're just like, I am so smart. I am so smart. I am way smarter than that Glendon Cameron, even though I am broke, even though I'm living in an apartment that I don't like, even though I am not living a abundant, wealthy lifestyle. I am so smart. That I, I, I'm, I'm much, much smarter than that Glendon Cameron. Because if I had that money, if, woulda, shoulda, coulda, I would have did it differently. I would have did this. I would have did that. Why don't you have the money? Since you're so smart, why don't you have the money? So the goal here, once again, and I've said this and I'm being repetitive, the goal isn't to get my money back. The goal is to create an additional revenue stream. And that $300,000 will be in play for 14 to 18 months. And then I will start to get money out. I'll start to pull money out. And then 10 months after that, I'll have my $300,000 back for you pocket watchers, for you people who are all concerned about my pockets. And I'm, I mean, I'm in a BMW right now. I drive a Porsche and I can go to the bank and I can pull out 50, 100K cash. Well, essentially banks will not let you pull that much cash out. How do I know this? Cause I tried it. You cannot write a check for 100K and pull 100K cash out the bank unless you notify them in advance. This is, I know, cause I tried it. I went in, I had my check for 100 k and the, the teller just started laughing. She said, we can't do that. The most I can give you is 25. So you don't even have those kind of experiences. You don't even know that Geico will only allow you to have nine cars on one policy, and after nine cars, you have to start another policy. You don't know this because you ain't living like this. And once again, for the people who appreciate and love the content, I got mad love for you, and I got some wonderful training coming up for you guys. So I appreciate you guys, and 
essentially, I understand why you don't want to get into it with the moist, wet men, because you don't want to get wet. You don't want to get your hands tacky. You don't want to get dirty. I totally get it, because there are some of these mental geniuses out here, and I, I addressed this in the last video. I am not going to talk to any of these, quote, car people who don't have what I want in the future. I, I've addressed this. I've addressed this. And essentially, most of the Toro people have never sat down and said, hey, I'm going to get my own co commercial insurance. And then I'm going to start my own marketing campaign. None of them have done this. None of them. And also, you know, a lot of you are putting down false information in the comments. Because I, I know for a fact that someone doesn't have 400 cars. I know this for a fact. And I'm just sitting there like, okay, okay. You're amazed by the social media hype, yet when you see someone who's running a real business, warts, bad parts, all of the junk, all of the garbage, all of the, the, the bad, you, you're like, that, that can't be real. That, that, that's, that's, uh, uh, uh. And this is why you will never have a real business because you're seduced by internet hype. I am showing you how to build a real business in an industry I know nothing about. I've only been doing this seven weeks. And there are some of you like, well, you know, such and such is doing it. He's already in the profit. I watched the video. He ain't in the profit. And like I said before, Justin Brubaker, who was the one that was doing the higher car videos on YouTube, has stopped making videos. And I wonder why. Because it wasn't going well. It wasn't going well. And he probably got out of it. Kind of like Erica. Erica was all on trucks. She was about trucks. And she got in that truck in life. And that truck in life was like... $10,000 repair, pow, pow, $20,000 repair, pow, pow, $40,000 repair, pow, pow. And Erica was like, bump this. I can make money easier on the internet. And that's what she essentially said in her video. And once again, Erica talked to people. Erica got guidance from folks and she still had a tough time in the trucking business. Because like, essentially, my issues and also like who would I talk to you know talk to someone who has these 2500 trips essentially when you're on Toro and you've been on the platform a long time Toro pushes your listings so it ain't like they had to do anything to get those 2500 trips they were just on the platform for a number of years they were on the platform before it became popular that was good for them that was smart that was a good move but like i said i have learned that there's no one on youtube that can tell me what kind of car i should buy you know how i found out what kind of car i should buy buying a car putting it on a platform and seeing what it does i know like right now i got a bmw that's about to go out bmws they go out and uh camrys go out the acras Sometimes they take a little time to go out, but they eventually go out. And I'm just gonna buy what people are buying. My friend David Dinkins, he said, sell what people are buying. I've, I've watched, I, I get on the um, website every day and I look at other people who are renting cars. And I see a lot of dull, boring ass cars. I saw someone that had like a little Sentra for 55 bucks a day. So you could drive a Sentra for 55 bucks a day, or you could drive a BMW for 55 bucks a day. A lot of people are choosing to drive the BMW, even though it's older. You want to know why? Because if anything goes wrong with it, they don't have to worry about repairing it. I do. So they're like, yeah, I'll drive this. I'll rent this. If it break, I'll just take it back. Get me another car. That's their mindset. And I'm, I'm, I'm seeing consistently that literally this BMW came back yesterday. I've had it, let's see, five o'clock. I had it, um, 
Hold on a second. All right, just rented that car and I'm back. Essentially, what you guys have and got making What you guys have got to understand is risk and reward. So, I spent this $260,000 on 20 cars. And also 240,000 on cars and then um that's my risk. Every time I rent a car out, I am taking a risk. I am risking that that car would be in an accident. I am risking that a car will be totaled out. I am risking that that car will be stolen. And this is one of the reasons that I'm trying to scale so quick. Right now, other than the reshuffling of the fleet, I'm going to get rid of some cars. I'm going to trade some cars in, get more cars. And I'm not actively going to be acquiring cars until probably September because I want to recoup repair costs, recoup insurance, recoup taxes. And I figure I'll probably do that easily in July. And then in August, I'm going to have even more money to invest in cars in September. And it's risk and it's reward. And once again, you know, shout outs to Erica. This, like, I got repairs, but my repairs are not going to be like the repairs in trucking. Essentially, all of my repairs, repairs combined are not what one major truck repair would be. All of them combined, not one. And I feel the newer Acras, I'm not going to have any problem out of that. I'm not going to have any problem out the Corollas. I'm probably going to buy more Corollas. I'm probably going to buy more Acras. Uh, once again, I got to sit down and kind of figure out my plan. And one of the things that I want to do is introduce you guys to building a real business out here in the world and kind of move away from, because essentially building a business on the internet can be really lucrative. It can be very lucrative. There's a number of business models on the internet. Um, essentially selling products, selling courses, selling services, or being an internet personality. Graham Stephan is an internet personality. He's not a financial advisor. He just puts on a good show and he makes a lot of money for putting on a good show. And one of the things that you guys have got to understand that there's a wide, wide open uh, opportunity for internet businesses because there's a lot of people who don't understand internet businesses. But I will be on the internet and I will be out here and I will have a revenue stream that's out here. And I'm gonna tell you why I'm doing this, risk and reward. Um, my internet income has gone up and it's gone down and it's gone up and it's gone down depending upon the YouTube algorithm. And I want a business that I have more control of the scaling because essentially I buy more cars, I increase my revenue. It is a pretty simple equation. And one of the things that a lot of folks don't understand is I have become accustomed to a certain lifestyle. Let's talk about this penthouse. I went and looked at my first penthouse. I don't think I'm moving there. I'm probably, it was in Buckhead. I'm probably going to move toward Midtown. Once again, I got to look. But to get, you know, surprisingly, to get these two penthouses I looked at yesterday was four or 5,000 a month, which was lower than I anticipated. So I feel that I'm going to be able, because I may have to raise, because I really don't have a budget. I know based upon my pay stubs, I can spend 10000 a month for a place because, you know, they want to see three times your income for whatever the rent's going to be. So that is my theoretical limit because I can bring us some tax returns and push it up higher. But essentially what was with the places yesterday <clears throat> the building has clearly been abused because um, here's my plan. I'm going to do high rise living for a year or two years and then get another house because um, I just want to taste it for a little bit, see what it's like. And then, you know, I'm selling everything in my house and I'm just going to start off with a bedroom set in this new place and then just furnish it over a period of time. 
And essentially, since I started this car business, I am out more than I have been in the last 12 years. I am out. I have been out all over Atlanta. I was on Fulton Industrial. And essentially, I'm learning to have trust because essentially what I did for the Acura that broke down, I essentially put the key under the seat. The tow driver, tow truck driver picked it up, took it to the repair place. I have not met any of these people. And essentially, this is how I manage stuff because if I was there and I had to drive, you know, essentially I was able to go pick up, an, I picked up one car because essentially I am, the Corolla is down, the Mini's down, and the Camry's down. So I'm three cars down now. I got one car back. I should be getting two cars back tomorrow. And then, I, you know, because essentially what I anticipate is if I have 30 cars, I'm probably going to have two to four cars with some issues. And then when I have 40 cars, I'm probably going to have five cars. So essentially for me to, you know, my goal by December is to have minimum 40 cars, ideally 50 cars. And then that sets the stage for the next eight months because if I have 50 cars, that's gonna be close to $60,000 a month, which will give me the ability to buy six cars. And six cars, just think of it this way, each car is an additional thousand to $1,500 a month. So I buy six cars, I go from 60,000 to 66,000, which gives me the ability to buy, you know, two months in a row I buy six cars, then that, corresponding month, I'll buy seven cars. And then when I get up to 10 cars per month, I want you to see me adding 10 to $15,000 over a two month period. Because once I get the car, the car has to integrate in the system, which could take a week or two weeks. Uh, sometimes if I buy the right car, it goes out instantly. So it's gonna be two month increments of scaling up, uh, jumping the income and you know, by this summer, I should, um, you know, by August, my goal is to have 100 cars. And 100 cars is going to create 100 plus K per month in revenue. And me opening up the dealership, I'm pushing it off for two years. I will take some money and buy a car once I get my dealer's license and sell cars to learn their business. But renting cars is way more profitable because if I could buy 10 cars per month and sell those 10 cars, and let's say I made $3,000 per car, that's 30K. You know, that, that's pretty good. And also, I noticed that a lot of the car dealers would just be chilling because uh, the Range Rover, the paper tag flew off of it, had to go up there. And what he did is went his computer and he fixed it where I can go pick up my tag that day. So there's a metal tag on the Range Rover. And um, that was cool. But I noticed that they're kind of relaxed and chilled and everything. And all these places are selling cars. Everybody is selling cars. So we will see once we get there. This is the place where you can get real business information, real business tactics, real business strategy. In July, I'm gonna be introducing the corporate papers where we're going to take someone who actually has a business in the class and we're gonna evaluate the business and we're gonna make recommendations and tell them what to do to make their business grow. So it's gonna be really good. Plus with me doing what I'm doing here on YouTube, because essentially a lot of people on YouTube will tell you about a business. They will tell you. How many of them will show you how to do the business? To me, that's more valuable because I can go, there's sand over there. There's sand over there. There's coconut trees over there. I can do that all day long. And then you can go, all right, yeah, 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 yeah. I know about this business, but here's the simple truth. Right now, there's someone who's making millions of dollars a year selling socks. Ain't glamorous, ain't sexy. They've just scaled their business up to where they're selling a million dollars a year 
or multiple millions of dollars a year of socks, which lets you know that if you're willing to do the work, virtually any business can make you rich. Virtually any business. So that's all I got for you guys. I will see you in the next one.